Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial. We're going to be taking this image and uh, doing something special with it. Hopefully get it down to less than 10 minutes. Let's get straight into this. So we're going to come straight down. I'm going to look at my remove chromatic aberration and enable profile correction. Look at the lens I was using, which was a tan one, 10 to 24. I come down to the upright part and go auto. Yep, that does a pretty good job. I'm going to crop this in to get rid of this door on the right hand side here. Probably come up to about there. Hit enter. And then we're going to come back up to the top to our global adjustments. And we're going to find a nice neutral white balance. Maybe taking that color there. Yep, don't mind that too much. Going to add a slight bit more blue in there. And the tint we're going to go a little bit on the magenta side, plus 24, 25, maybe 26, just there like that. And we're going to open up our shadows, not too much in this one, I don't want to go too far. And bring those highlights down, probably all the way, yep, just there, look at that sky now. And then we're going to go to our whites, we're going to bring that up, hold down the out key, just to about there, not too much. And the blacks we're going to bring down to about there, I don't mind too much darkness in this bit just there clarity I'm gonna go plus about 20 19 yep the vibrance Let's give that a bit give that a kick to about 50 saturation probably not gonna do very much for that we'll leave that as it is and I'm gonna change the linear point curve to a medium contrast come back up and have a look at the exposure see what we can do I might bring it down slightly only because that sky is looking fine contrast we're going to add a little bit more to the global contrast just there plus 15 cool and let's have a look at what else we need to play with sharpening yep we're going to add a bit of sharpening going to bring it up to about 70 and hold down the out on the masking so we can take it up usually around 50 60 something like that is good uh, we don't want too much in the sky obviously now I've got a little bit of uh, sensor dust on there, so I'm going to get rid of that quickly. Bop. Let's have a look around the image, see if there's anything else. We'll zoom in if we have to. Most of this I'm looking just for the sky. I'm not too worried about the building itself. You're not really going to see much if there's a bit of sensor dust on the building part. So, yep, yeah, that looks pretty good for that. Now we are going to add a graduate filter to the sky. I'm going to make this quite a big one. I'm going to come down just over there. I don't need it for exposure. So I'm going to bring that down. I'm going to do is bring exposure down ever so slightly. We're going to tint up on the magenta. Look at that sky starting to pop. Maybe add just a little bit of yellow. Yellow or blue. I'm actually going to leave that at zero. We're just going to add a little bit more tint on the magenta side. So, yep. Yeah happy with that let's just see the before and after that yep perfect and now I'm going to add a new graduate filter for the bottom not too far just hold down the shift key to make that level and we are going to bring that down just to about there perfect so we then have radial filters now this I'm going to do a little bit of dodge and burning really quickly I'm just going to add a few bits here and there bring that down add a little bit of warmth to these I'm going to copy that to there make that bigger copy that again maybe there maybe one more there make that bigger and actually I'm probably going to do another one for there Make that smaller, so that fits in there. So that's nicely added a little bit of of uh, dodging just to the building, and we're going to do some more. Let's add a new one. Gonna add a bit one down there. Bring that right down. I'm making sure, guys, that the feather is up to a hundred on these. With this, I'm going to add a little bit of magenta. See, it's like it almost reflects off the sky. And add another one. So make that a bit bigger. Slightly 
cars. Okay, we just add a little bit of light differentiation uh, just to give the image a bit of a, uh, a good feel. Close that down, don't need that. And now we are going to come over to the brush and we're going to make sure that density is around 70, feather is at 100, flow at 100, and we are going to add a little bit of dark areas to the building. This is our basic dodge and burn in Lightroom. So we can turn this down. This is a bit much, but I'm just going to see where I'm pacing this first. Yeah, you see that looks terrible, but I'm going to bring that right down to about there. I'm going to add a new one. Go on the other side. Add a bit of yellow, bit of magenta. Now we're going to. It, again, it looks too much, but don't worry, we're going to sort that out in a second. Okay. Now I'm going to do a little bit in there. I'm going to add its own brush for that, so we're going to bring that right down to about plus 10. Now if we look at what we've done with the brush so far in the whole whole picture, we've had a little bit of warmth to the building in places and dodging and burning here and there. Good, okay, so I'm gonna zoom in to these and add a new brush. Go right up to this. Let's just go a bit further to there. Size the brush down a little bit. It's going to look a little bit strange, but it's going to add a little bit of interest in the picture. So we've got that there. Let's go over. We've got another one just there. Make the brush a little bit smaller. Okay, come out just a little bit. I'm going to bring that down a touch. Add some yellow. A little bit. Maybe green side on that maybe so if we come out all the way just looks like those lights are on uh, gives a little bit more interest in the picture and that is pretty much it if I was going to go further I may be, do a bit more dodge and burn into the sky but I think the sky looks good already the building looks really good really sharp Let me just make sure there's nothing else needed doing down here we've done that done that done that and yep everyone that's uh, pretty much what i do with that that's my workflow fantastic if you like this video please hit the like button if you haven't done so already please subscribe to my channel for future updates and this will also be in another video if you prefer videos without voiceover i'm now starting to do those as well because i've noticed a lot of my uh, videos are being liked more so i've made up a playlist of videos like this uh, where there's no voiceover so people can just flick through them really really quickly so we're heading over there uh, there's a link in the description. Thanks, guys. See you in another video next time. Bye.